Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will once again be continuing on our Bounty Hunter story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm, I'm just trying not to fall right now. That's all I really know. All I really know in this moment is that I'm trying not to fall. So hopefully that, oh, doesn't happen. Okay, just, just look out. See, you don't want to fall down there. That'd be bad. Don't want to do that. We're, we're going to try not to do that. Just look up in the sky at the pretty planes flying across. There they are. Take it in. Soak it all in. Colonel Rain needs you to break into Balmoran Arms Factory, shut off its power, and use the period of panic to shut down security. Once you've done this, locate the Balmoran Defense Minister Val Argon and get rid of him. Disable the main generator at Balmoran Arms Factory. Sure, why not? Sure, point. Why not? I mean, right? Yeah. Wait, let me look. Let's just go here, because I really don't want to move. Let's just take a tiny little shortcut. Oh, careful. Quit waving. You know you don't like any of these people. You're just pretending. I guess that's pretty much everyone though, right? <laughs> you know, when you go somewhere and you talk to people you, you you know you never met or whatever, even even if you have met, you're just being fake nice. We know it we know it's true. You're not you don't like anyone there. Maybe a couple people, but that's who you'll hang out with. You won't have any trouble being nice to them, but everybody else you're being fake nice. You're just trying to get people to like you. Or, you know, you just don't want them to not like you. Same thing. I thought for sure that they were going to get angry at me there, but I was wrong. They will, though. Ah. Hi, guys. Oh. Oh, you son of a... That's not cool. You're gonna get it now. You guys too, huh? That's what I thought. Two plus two is three. I knew it. I used to always argue with everyone. Every math teacher, every time I was like, two plus two isn't four. What are you talking about? Oh, oh are you so <laughs> are you, you wanna you wanna question my my math ability buster. too? Yeah, two plus two is three plus one. So I guess in that regard it's kind it can be kind of three. What did you gain from doing that? Nothing. Look at you now. Coming under your undercarriage. that from you that's all I really wanted from you 
like all you were really good for. That would be a great way for your wife to propose to you. You're only really good for money, but you got enough of it. It makes me want to stick around. <laughs> you want to get married? Don't sign a prenup in any way, shape, or form, because I definitely just want to take half of your money. Because like I said, you're only good for one thing. Money. But, you know, you couldn't get mad at her, or, you know, because she told him going in there, that that's what she was going to do. No reason to be surprised at, at that happening. What, what did you say? What a great team. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right, Mako. Oh, it's a lore object. I want that. Lore. My precious. Oh my goodness, I went up a level. Amazing. you get out of my face there you go I knew you could do it I knew you could get out of my face I didn't mean to do that probably do this that was a nice shot got him while they were airborne all right oh get out of my face buddy I like doing that, I gotta say. I like doing that. I gotta say, I'm having more fun with this character than the last character I used that had, uh, blasters, which was, uh... I think it was the Imperial Agent? I enjoyed the story of the Imperial Agent quite a bit, but the class that the... Class I, subclass, or whatever you want to say, the, the combat style I chose was. I went into it being like, I'm just gonna go invisible and skip past everybody. That'll be fun. And you know, it was it was it was cool for a while, but then about halfway through, I was like, oh, I should have changed it. I know. By that point, I was I was lower level, and it was just easier to try to get through things being invisible. Plus, I'm kind of stubborn, so I kind of stuck to my choice. I could have changed it at any time, but I just, I just didn't. I should have. I should have totally changed it to something else. What? I mean, anything would have been better. What did I have? I was playing as the operative. You know, it's not bad, but... I found it kind of boring after at least after a while well because I was basically I was only playing it as I'm going invisible and skipping past groups it was mainly my fault 
So maybe not, let's not blame the class itself. The combat style, or whatever you want to call it. It was mainly my stubbornness that got me into that situation. Usually like every bad thing that happens to me is usually my fault and it's usually caused by me making a poor decision due to stubbornness. And I'm... Um, oh, I only need three more though, let's just... Oh, I thought you were an enemy, Mako. You were just... thought you were just some guy, but it was you. I did change your outfit. I think it looks better than the other one you had on. Could it be better? Probably. supposed to beat that guy okay I was like where's the thing I need to get it's not there it was never there you were mistaken as you usually are dum dum boy that makes me think of uh, Flintstones with uh oh, I just had his name and I can't remember that the green Martian the, the alien guy Kazoo? Whatever it was. Oh man, that makes me want to watch the Flintstones. I haven't seen that in years. When I was a kid, I loved watching older cartoons. I had the Boomerang Channel. If anybody know, you know, where they have all the old... I wonder if the Boomerang Channel is there. I had that for like 10 years. I had the Boomerang Channel until I was like... Hmm. Let me see. Late 20s. So up until, you know, a little bit before COVID. I've heard more satisfactory reports of your success in the Balmoran Arms Factory. And that fool Vol Argon played right into our hands. There can be no doubt. The resistance is crushed. Hmm... The war is in your hands now, buddy. Your big chocolate-covered hands. Good luck with the final assault, Colonel. Thank you. Captain Rigel is in charge of writing up the report on this one. If I could ask you for one final favor, that you report your success to him. No. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to go there and I'm going to tell him, Hey, buddy, I did this thing for this guy, and he's going to go... You know... I got some stuff you could do for me. And he gave me a weird, creepy look, and I i was very worried at that point. But it's okay, it wasn't what I thought it was. He just wanted me to do his laundry. He's never learned how, I don't know, it's very simple, but... He says he can't do it, so I don't know, he has to pay people to do it. He pays pretty good, too. He paid me five grand to do his laundry one time. I'm not passing that up. It was in some kind of foreign currency that I'm not sure where it came from, but five thousand of it. Travel route is confirmed.
There's pesos? No, I don't think so. It might have been some kind of token from an, some arcade, like a Chuck E. Cheese or something. But hey, that's 5,000 of them, you know, you can't pass that up. I wonder if you could take that as scrap. I wonder if that's actually good metal that you probably not. It might just be worthless. Who knows? Or I guess you could melt them down and make other things, and you, you know, you could make your own coins. Like I said, they're actually made out of real metal. Well, they probably are, right? What would you make out of it? A sword made out of tokens? A token sword. It just reminds me of Token from South Park. You build this sword, it will be magically able to play the bass guitar, just like Token from South Park. I gotta say, that's one of the funniest parts. I really like that part. Mainly because I think that'd be cool if you could just... You could just be like, oh, I, I know how to play this. Because <laughs> my family's about, you know, really musical and into music and stuff. If I could just play the instruments that they could play before, that would be awesome. Maybe I can, maybe I have to unlock that somehow inside my brain. Hunter. You've more than earned your keep. The whole resistance is in shambles. The people's spirits are broken. Balmora is as good as ours. Hmm. About my reward? I'll be taking my pay then. Of course. I think you'll find it most generous. We cannot possibly thank you enough for your service. Decades we've been trying to win this war, and you've done it in a fraction of the time. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're freaking welcome, dude. Now I gotta go back and talk to this other guy, and then I can leave this place. Can't do that yet. That makes me very sad. I could just leave right now if it wasn't for the fact that I keep forgetting to just go back and talk to that guy and finish the mission. I mean, that's all. That's, that's basically, I'm pretty sure, all I have left to do. Go back and talk to him. I know, I'm not doing a very good job, am I? doing terribly. I'm so ashamed of myself. I'm curious. 35 seconds. I might as well just get my journey on the road. Let me see. Let's see when the 35 seconds would be up. 24. K18. So haven't made it very far. We're going pretty slow. So far, it's kind of like maybe I should have just waited the 35 seconds and then just fast traveled there and I would have been uh, a lot better off. Yep, two more seconds. Yeah, I should have just waited. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see how much longer it takes. Well, we're, you know, I guess it wasn't that bad. It, was, it wasn't much longer. So, it, yeah, you know, I guess it wasn't a bad choice. We made the right call. For once, we finally did that. It's a it's an accomplishment we've never seen before from us. But now we did it. And I know all I needed was Rob Schneider there, standing there, going, You can do it! And that's all I needed. Gave me the power. Gave me the power of dew. I also was drinking a Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You're angry because you want a Mountain Dew too. You can't have it. It's all mine. I haven't had a Mountain Dew in a long time. The last ones I had was a few years ago now. The uh, the 4th of July ones. The, like the America one. Oh my god, I love the flavor of that one. There was another one too, I, but they have a whole bunch more flavors of Mountain Dew now, I'm sure, that I haven't had, and I bet they're amazing. You're alive. And not only that, my comlink is picking up signals again. Is everything uploaded? It wasn't so bad. There were some rough spots, but nothing I couldn't handle. Now it's my turn. 
I'll aim our scanners at the Okara droid factory to measure the extent of the damage the virus has caused. If the computer core shuts the probes down, I can record how long a window that creates for future assaults. I'm, I'll go now. I'll leave you to it. I cannot express what your success will mean. Not to me, I am nothing, but to the families of the men who died for this mission. Those soldiers did not fail their empire, nor did their empire fail them. I've been trying out the subtitles, and I don't know, I kind of feel like I want to take them back off. I mean, if you really needed them, you know, you can just turn on subtitles on YouTube, right? Pretty sure. Well, I mean, I, I already checked it. I know I can. But I understand the more importance of actually having it there on the screen all the time so you can, like, read through it as it's going. You know what I mean? Well, I've, I've watched a lot of subtitled anime. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of people have been there. Know what I'm talking about. Or maybe you watch, like, foreign indie movies or something, and, you know, you gotta have subtitles for those. Yeah, the, my favorite uh, indie movie is a uh, naked guy goes to the grocery store. Such a good movie. <laughs> That's probably an actual movie, isn't it? <laughs> Lieutenant Ruta reported in. He says you completed the platoon's objective alone. It's probably not named that, though. It's probably like, I like Moon Song or something. <laughs> it wasn't hard. I've had way tougher jobs. I had a feeling you'd say that. It seems if I want to save my men's lives, I should send you in first instead of last. Probably. A battalion may have been unable to assist the platoon at Akara, but I assure you they were not sitting idle. Oric and Crash companies, and the remainder of Besh, simultaneously invaded Rebel Post and Broken Valley. They found something. Well, good news for once. I'm glad someone in this outfit succeeds on the first try. Yes. We become good at deciphering the mess that Imperial Intelligence sends our way. Our droids went through the Rebel databanks and pulled out messages about them occupying a tunnel network we call Cave 52. The Rebels are in Broken Valley and they're moving in cargo. All indications are that this load is special. All you need is just one bomb, a really big one. You could finish the whole lot of them. Bombs work wonders on caves. Have you contacted the Air Force? No. We want the cave contents undamaged. The rebels transferred in elite units. This is something they don't want us to have. If our whole battalion comes knocking, they'll evacuate immediately. We'll need a small, fast attack to get inside K-52. The guerrillas know the tunnels quite well, so I suspect they have ambush points. Ah, uh, I can get in there. It doesn't matter where they hide. Their fate will be the same. Good. Word will spread about the captured posts, so I would head to Broken Valley immediately. We'll have a surveillance officer monitoring K-52's largest entrance. His name is Trekt. When you've seen the cargo, report to him, and he'll contact me on a secure frequency. Go in strength. How did this turn into another mission? <laughs> I don't understand. I get it if it was one of like the story made like this is just a like a regular mission like a son turned into another one I thought I was done on this planet I thought I could leave I was wrong I was so wrong I just didn't know how wrong I actually was because I'm so wrong all the time it's hard to really tell Now we gotta figure out how to get over there. Am I able to cut through or do I have to go all the way around? Because I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to go all the way around. And if that's the case... I'm just gonna go here. Hey. 
that way, you don't have to do any of that. You can just go there. Lucky there, that was so much easier. So much easier than before. You can see he is still in shock. The crews that recovered the bodies tell me it was quite grisly. Stim him up if you need to. He's an Imperial soldier. These colicoids must be destroyed. Who was talking? <laughs> Whatever, I guess there's just some ghosts there in the middle of the road. I'm sorry for disturbing your slumber, Mr. Ghost. Please don't be mad. Go back to it. On the way. That, that's not what I meant to do. All right, now you guys are out of the way. So I just have to investigate cave 50. Is this like area 51? Cave 52. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it. I'm here. What do you need, Amber Carter? Hold on. How did you get in? I walked. My brilliant wit, of course. I have a way with people. All right, I can take a hint. Listen, the people in that complex aren't of any consequence and are certainly no threat to the Empire. Lies. This is only gonna get worse. I'm telling the truth. They're Force-sensitives, and the law on Imperial planets is all Force-sensitives must be trained as Sith. If you don't train, you're executed as a potential threat, but not everyone would make it as a Sith. Some people discover their sensitivity when they're too old, or they just don't have the will. So they go into hiding with us. That's not very smart. And that helps how? It may be difficult for you to understand, but we don't try to exploit these people. We get them to Republic Planet so they can grow dirt or compose symphonies or whatever it is they're good at. But the Emperor keeps making laws that say they have to die. Hmm. Sure, whatever. I'll let them live. If they are no threat, they have little to fear from me. Are you serious? Your superiors would... Well, I won't tell them if you don't. Everyone you better in that not. cavern will have you to thank for their lives. We'll clear everyone out of the caves. It would be best if you could say you found nothing here. I found nothing here. Alright, I said it. What does that do? What did it do? You need something? I, wish, I thought it was like a magical phrase or something. Uh, you know, like abracadabra. Or... That's a magical word? It is now. Because I said it and everything that I say is just magical. Right? Magically stupid. Magically delicious. <laughs> hey, you you you're in my way. What do you want? Just hiding back here behind this log. You're Tyrus's operative, correct? No. Good to see you alive. Major? Yes, your operative is here. She secured the tunnels. Uh, no, I contacted you immediately, sir. He wants to know if you made it in time. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was nothing in there. I don't know. Cave 52 has no cargo. They moved whatever it was before I entered. Sir, uh, we've got dust. Uh-huh. I'm certain, sir. He's cursing about Imperial intelligence again. 
You may want to sit down. This usually takes a while. Sir? Yes, sir? I'll pass the word on. He apologizes for the unnecessary danger. It looks like our battalion is going to be searching the other caves. You have fun spelunking. At least you'll have a clear mission objective. Yes, from now until forever. When we uncover the real rebel nests, they're going to pay. You, on the other hand, are in the Major's good books. He wants to commend you for aiding the battalion. If every soldier we had risked their neck like you, this Empire would be a much different place. Probably. It'd be purple. With polka dots. Totally different place. I know you're angry, you want to chase me, but I don't want you to do that, so leave me alone. So leave me alone and mind your own business. Displaying all authorized destinations. Um... Take me there. I feel like the speeders and the, I feel like the stuff on this planet is so slow. It's so slow, man. Is it be, maybe the planet is smaller, so they made everything slower to kind of feel bigger? I don't know. I'm not sure if that works. If moving slower, making things feel bigger. I, I don't know if that works. I'll try it, but I don't know if that... <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it does. Maybe that's the key. If you go fast, it'll just be like... It'll happen so quick, you, you won't be sure if it actually happened or not. But if you go real slow... You know, then you could be certain. Maybe that's... Maybe that is it? I don't know. But, I'm going to end this one right here at this point in time, right? Hold on. Might do this, hold on, let me do it. Okay, I... <laughs> Comfy. You really, you know the cushions are so soft, you just kind of sink down into the chair. It's great. But while I do this and perhaps try to stand back up and get out of this, because I don't know if I can, I'm going to end this one right here at this point in time. I do, of course, hope everyone enjoyed themselves. And, you know, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all of that. And, you know, if you didn't, you could do that too. You could do it. But, you know, you don't have to do it. But what you do have to do is you got to have a good day. You got to do it. Because without a good day, you, of course, have nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you on the next one. I guess now, there really is only one thing left to say, and that is... Goodbye. <laughs>